Hello, this is Andrew from Sema Labs, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a new item in the storyboard and how to connect it up to the code. So we've just got a blank new app here. If we go to our main.storyboard, when it loads up, we can see we've just got one view controller here. And by default, this view controller is connected to the view controller.swift code on the left side. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is make a new view controller and connect it up. So to do that, in the bottom right, select view controller and drag it into here on the storyboard. So we've got two side by side. The one on the left will be the one that's open by default. So we're going to get a button and drag it onto there. And with that button holding the control key, drag the line to the storyboard view controller you just made and action seg will go show so if we run that app now click on that I, that button is just going to show that second storyboard we made so click on the button the second one is shown now on this storyboard here, on the new one we made, if we want to say add a button and a label, when you want to add code to it, it doesn't seem very intuitive at first how you add code to it because there were no other view controllers or any other classes created here. So where does it get stored? Well, what you need to do, you also need to create a new view controller file of the class UI view controller and you need to connect that up to the storyboard item here so to do that go file new file go next make sure the subclass is of UI view controller and we're going to name this as second view go next and go create so what we've got here is a second view class of code that's going to run the code behind this view controller. But first, what we need to do, we need to connect this storyboard item up and tell it to use the second view .swift class code. So to do that, click on the view controller and under the identity inspector up in the top right, class will have UI view controller as some gray text. So drop that down and select second view or you can type that in so if we go back to second view and if you did load we'll go print line code is connected once this view control loads it should print out code is connected to the console so we click the button and see down in the console code is connected that's being printed out so now what I'll show you how to do is to connect up the buttons and labels to that second view class to do that what we are going to use is the assistant editor which is in the top right if you click that here this will split the view up and what we need to do on this right side we need to make sure that that second view dot swift is selected so you'll need to select it from the drop down menu up the top if you can't find it go to menu storyboard overview storyboard overview and the second view now to connect these up what we do we do a similar thing as we hold down the control key drag a line from the label and we're just going to create an outlet which is basically a connection to that label on the storyboard that allows us to set text and properties of the like of the button and you need to give it a name to be referenced to so we're going to name ours just label first and we'll also just make the label a bit bigger now with the button when we connect that up we're also going to have an outlet we're going to name it button hello Now with buttons, if you want some code to run on when you click on them, 
you need to do the same thing to connect it up. However, instead of using an outlet connection, you use an action. What the difference is an outlet allows you to access properties of the item and set them to say the text, the size and location on the screen. An action is invoked when you click on a button or item. So if you click on a button and so on, it will run the code in the action. So we're gonna go action and name, we're gonna do hello action and connect that up. So when you click on that button, whatever code is in here will be run for that. So we're gonna set that label text, which is label first. So label first dot text equals hello. If we run that now, we'll see what happens when we click on our button. So we've got that second storyboard of view control loaded up and we click on the button. It runs that hello action code to set the label text to hello. So if we want to access properties of the button, we use that outlet we created called button hello. Say we want to set the title, we go button hello dot set title. We'll do press and for state use dot normal. So that button hello access the properties of that button and this action is run or invoked when you click on that button. So if we run that now, click on the button, click on this button here, you can say hello. And because the button isn't wide enough, it can't fit on it or the text. So it truncates it. So if we stop that in our storyboard, we'll make the button a bit wider run that again and we'll see the text pressed come up there you go thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below also check out our website facebook and twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen